I started to see that this was an opportunity to demonstrate this, this by this, I mean, the academic commons, but more broadly, this, this kind of virtuous cycle where you have the money from the university going to a developer who then works closely with the university to build something, which is then redistributed to the broader public. I started to see this as a model of public engagement that stands alongside and really complements the larger um, goal of public engagement of the university. You know, universities are really big on having their public intellectuals. They want them to write books and to give give talks that are open to the public and to have uh, do media appearances and this sort of thing. We can take that same sort of model of the university kind of uh, opening up the doors of the ivory tower, so to speak, and we can apply that to the infrastructure of the university as well in terms of the software that we build. So instead of thinking of the software as plumbing that's hidden behind the walls, instead we think of building software and conceptualizing software in a similar manner to the way that we do public intellectualism. So we we build it, we share the processes behind uh, behind the building, and then we give it away, and that creates a conversation around the tools that we build. Because I mean. We all know that the tools, especially now in 2021, we know that the tools that we build for communication in these spaces are, they under, underscore, and to some extent, they dictate the kinds of conversations we're allowed to have in the public intellectual sphere. So this is not like a false connection here. I mean, they are very, they're intrinsically linked. We can't talk about, oh, what's it like to have a public discourse without talking about the tools that, on, you know, that facilitate the public discourse.